Or have you heard of the tote buster? In Canada, I discovered it's called the tote buster. Oh, wow. So this is going to be a new experience for you, yeah? Good. <laughs> now, the, the, the reasons why I, I use Alphabet Edit are that I use it a lot for myself. And, I, and it's usually one of the first tools I give students to use because the feedback I've got about it is really terrific. It's quick, it's easy, you can do it any place, any time. It's the martini solution, you know. Any time, any place, anywhere. And that's what we're going to look at. I mean, that, that's interesting. Isn't it? Something that will just blow those little bugs away. Right. Now, in your notes, you will find that you have a handout. It is a checklist of some modalities, which you remember from this morning, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it's oh, it's here's the handout from this morning. I we just brought these extra ones along in case you uh, left it in your room. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Great training. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So, what is this thing called Alphabet Edit? Well, let's look at the process first. This is, this is the whole process. Okay? The whole process. First of all, you make a VAK, Visual Auditory Kinesthetic Representation of the Problem. Alright? And then, with a partner, you check off the submodalities. Okay, remember how to do that? Now? Yes? Good. Then, you do this, this thing with the alphabet, which I'll show you in detail when we've just gone through this. Okay, so this is this is a, the detail bit that we'll come to in just a minute. So you do the alphabet exercise, and when you've done that, with your partner, check off the submodalities of the problem state again. Okay, any questions on that? All clear? All clear. Except for this little bit in the middle, no. which I will just elaborate on the part. Now, this little bit in the middle refers to this chart here. Okay, so you got the process so far. Make the AK representation, check the submodalities, then you do this. What you do is, ideally, you stick it up somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in this situation, the partner can hold it for you. <laughs> the chart. There's Bob, the chart. So, now you can see there that there are the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way down to P. Okay. And in the, in the corner there, there's an L, or a T, or an R. Okay. This is what you do. You smile as you're doing it, by the way. You read off the letters of the alphabet. And where it's got an L, you raise your left arm. Where it's got an R, you raise your right arm. And where it's got a T, you raise both arms together. Okay? Wait, where is what have an A or B or a C? Sorry? Repeat that. Where how do you know whether to choose A, B, C, D, what? You read them in sequence. So you just read A, B, C? Yeah. Oh. This, I'll, I'll demo it for you. When I've gone through the whole process, I'll give you a little demo. Okay. Right. So that's going forwards with arms. Okay? The next phase is you go backwards with arms. So you go P, O, N. But again, where it's got a T, arms together. Where it's got an R, the right arm, where it's got an L, the left arm. Okay, got that? <laughs> right, now, it, where we come from, we have two sets of examinations. You know, there's, there's what's called your O levels, and then there's your A levels. Well, that was the O level. Now we go to the advanced level. And this is really only for go for it, people. But I know you can handle this. So, this time, we go forwards. <coughs> 
with arms at the opposite leg. <laughs> so you go A, B, C, D, <laughs> all right? And where it's got an L there, you raise the left arm at the opposite leg. An R, it's like that. And a T, it's like that. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, you got it. Okay? And again, you go forwards, and then you go backwards. Okay? You're all happy about that, yeah? <laughs> now, I wouldn't want you to think this is a load of fun. Um, similarly, I wouldn't want you to believe everything I say. <laughs> However, you really, you really got to do this because this really works. The evidence I've had of this thing, it is absolutely fantastic. Um, now, the catch is, should you make a mistake like you raise the right arm when it should have been the left arm, or you say the wrong letter, right? Then you have to go back to the beginning of that phase. <laughs> no. right, only, only that phase. Okay, so if you make a mistake here, you go back to there. If you make a mistake here, you only go back to the beginning of here. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Ooh. So, give you a quick demonstration. Picture of a problem. <laughs> Check some modalities with partner. Du, 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 du. Then immediately you get up and you do this. You go. <sighs> and B, C, D, E, F, G, H. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> right? This is great. <laughs> now, now, I wouldn't like to suggest that you'd actually want to do it now. Uh, but in the time available, because you guys are so quick at checking submodalities, I have brought you an individual chart each. So take it, pair up with someone. Think about uh, in these light situations. I usually recommend to people think about something that you'd like that you already do that you'd like to be better at doing. Got it? Uh huh. <laughs> 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 You can keep that list. Oh, good. <laughs> right, okay. So, just just to do a quick, think of something, get some submodalities with a partner, do a quick check off, and we'll see how far you can get in five minutes. Digital will come in and say, oh, no, don't be so stupid, you know, you can't afford that, you can't do this. But this just knocks it out. Right. Because uh, an, another, another way of looking at it would be that um, you're unconscious. Mind, has got the intention of solving that problem. And then you tie up the conscious mind with all of this so that it leaves the unconscious time to work. So the unconscious is working while my conscious mind is busy. It's working on the seven dollars of problem? You've got it. Absolutely. So Dave, so how often can I do this? How often would you like to do this? <laughs> I always get the great questions. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's something that, 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 that I use for all sorts of things. Uh, you can do it as often as you like. However, there is one thing that you must change. And that is the sequence of these letters here. When you do it an awful lot, it will become a learned response. All right? It will stop working. So there's, no, there's, there's nothing um, significant about the L's, the R's, and the T's, except that they're random. Mm -hmm. So when, when you start to sort of get a learning curve on this, then you just rearrange the, the L's, the R's, the T's. Another thing to do is to start going up and down the road. Oh. Right? You can do it that way. <laughs> uh, and also, for some people who are trying to shift something really heavy with it, the, the the forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards, that may, may only produce a small shift. If you, if you check your submodalities and find you've only got a small shift, go back and do it again, do it more. And I've known people shift really heavy stuff, and they've done this for about 45 minutes. I'm wondering if we should be associated or dissociated while you're doing it. That's a very good question. Um, <laughs> The strange thing is, <laughs> the strange thing is, it doesn't really seem to matter. Because I've, I had a, I had someone once come to me. He wanted to be. Uh, he, he said, I, I have to 
to give such boring presentations to customers about our products. I want to be able to lighten them up. So I said, oh, okay, okay, so what would it look like? What would be something that symbolised a lively presentation to you? And he said, oh, a firework. And he just had a picture of a firework. And so it, it, it could be something that is just symbolic of, of uh, that problem state. But the intention to shift to the change. Any more questions? Terrific.